All the way around? I I can't it, but no, sir. I didn't have this many, many people at <laughs> my wedding. Oh, God bless you. I bet they were better looking then. Yes, <laughs> and I was better looking then. Thank you very well much. Well yeah, just skipping along, James. How have the last few years been for you? Terrible. Horrendous. Horrendous. Can you explain what, what, how it's affected you? Um, my family's life, my life, uh, my health, losing my work, losing my home, my self-worth, it's been terrible. This, this, but this uh, judgment gives you justice, but it doesn't give you back those lost years, does it? No, no nothing will bring those back. Can anything make up for what you've lost? No. What do you think about the post office executives who knew that there was a problem? It's terrible. I, I can't put it into words, so, no, sorry, I just can't speak a little bit. It's not been nice. I'm just so happy this has happened. What would you say to the post office today? Somebody needs to be held accountable for this. It can't go hush hush now. It needs to, somebody needs to do something about this. This is wrong. It's punishment for us. This was 14 years. And again, I don't think it will, but it needs to be. Somebody needs to push it. It just goes all quiet, and it always happens. It happened last time, it's going to happen again. We know it is. You but keep pushing for it? I'm going to keep pushing for it, see what happens. I never gave up on this, and I don't think I'll give up again. I need to get somebody charged on that side of the post office. It's a wonderful afternoon. Because when I told my mother, who's, who's 93, I was coming to court, she said, get yourself down to Aldi and get some <laughs> Prosecco. She said, just remember your name's Hedges, not Rothschild. So get Prosecco, not Bollinger. Yeah. So,